7.30, just check this weather. There it is. You can sort of see the front coming up here in Mildura. That's us in that dot. And this stuff here, see all this down the bottom here? That's all the cold air mass that's gonna bring the snow. So it's in a good position. It's good for us today. That way we can do a little bit of riding. But yeah, as I said yesterday, we've got to get to camp and set up. Wood's gonna be super wet, so I need to get that fire going nice and early. Got to get my fire skills on point for this one. Waiting for that storm. It's coming. See all this cloud cover rolling in. The wind's died off a bit, which is nice. It knocked out that wind chill because with it at four degrees with the wind chill makes it pretty chilly. So we'll pack up camp and then we'll get moving. All right, just keeping an eye on these clouds and this weather. It's time to get out of here. on a couple of easy tracks just exploring through it's one thing uh, I got to keep an eye on with the 701 is just the maintenance the best bit of advice that was given to me around this bike is treat it like a dirt bike mate do the maintenance like a dirt bike the oil intervals changes on this is 10,000 k's there's no chance uh, this thing's gonna make it to 10,000 k intervals I'm gonna change the oil probably every three to four thousand k's and just do that preventative maintenance this is really easy to dump the oil and change the filters so I'm just gonna be doing that a lot more unfortunately didn't check my air box thoroughly enough and there was a little opening on the bottom of it and the bike took in uh, which way do we go we go right the bike took in dust and particularly that last trip oh I can't really see here just been eating dust for the last three days I was riding at the back of the pack and it took in a fair bit of dust. The first thing I did was I booked it in and got them to do a pressure test on the intake intake valve and it failed straight away. It wasn't getting any pressure, so dirt had got into the motor. So I had to drop the motor out of the bike. It took about three to four weeks. The guys were busy, but I just left it with them. I didn't want to press them. So the motor came out of the bike and they did a top end rebuild. I've just ticked over a thousand Ks from that initial rebuild so my confidence is back on the bike with the motor it's, it's running schmick but it just reiterates just being on top of all the maintenance including the air intake and it was purely error by me absolute error by me but it's just a lesson learned a costly lesson learned and it had burned a lot of oil and not only done geez just shy of 6,000 k's and it needed a top up of oil so I'm really Really on top of oil, cool it, all that. So yeah, just maintenance, maintenance, maintenance with this one. We're almost to Buxton. This is a great view here of uh, where we're going up. There's the Cathedral Ranges. So this is the range that we're going into. You just sort of see. Mount Margaret where we're gonna go sort of tucked in up the back here where those sort of dead trees are that's where we're gonna camp so that sits up around 1100 meters but this is a beautiful beautiful side of the range here the Cathedral Ranges good hiking in there it'll be fun down that track greasy quickly check this weather still got a little way off which is good we've got a couple of hours maybe fueled up I've also topped up our drinking water. We ran out of drinking water pretty much last night. Just had some in my Camelback. So we go from here in Buxton, we take a ride up here and then we head up onto Mount, heading towards Mount Margaret. It should be a wet ride out tomorrow, I reckon, because it ain't pleasant when it's wet and cold, but that's all part of the game. Gotta earn it. Let's go and build this camp. Oh, 
Look at all this dry timber here, actually. Look at this. Might come back down here a little bit later. Look at all this dry stuff. Oh, that's exactly what we need to get the fire started. Perfect. We're not far down up this track. This is Mount Margaret track. And we're just up here. This is our spot. And you can sort of see why I came and checked this track last week. Because of this. This track can get some serious big trees. And these trees are the big widow makers. So this is where the Black Saturday fires rip through here. You can sort of see them out there in the valley. We're well and truly away from those. This spot has got some good shelter. And it's also doesn't have any of those big widow makers hanging over at the ghost gums and there she is this is us as you can see by it it's beautifully sheltered all the way around by these trees which is going to help us in the wind yeah it doesn't look like anyone's camped here i sort of put all the rubbish in the fire pit because when i came up last week you can just see it's just it's a bit grotty but it serves its purpose so there's the wood i chopped up last week there's plenty of little stuff lying around, but I think I might go back to that pile and just load up on the dry stuff, strap it to the back of the bike. I know I've got plenty of it, so... Alright, let's get set up. It looks like a bit of a breeze comes through this way, but I think I'm going to go tree to tree. Set it up in this sort of spot here. I'm going to use this tree. It's been a while since I've used this. Probably the last snow trip that AJ and I did we camped up on the Howard High Plains that was a couple of years ago so it's been in hibernation since then so good height and as I pull these down this will tighten up so got a couple of nice little hanging points on there can hang the jacket in the water I'm quite comfortable with the height and that angle is going to help the snow hopefully fall off Got it up pretty quick. I'm really happy with it. Nice and tight. I'll take you through the inside. This is it. Storm shelter's up. So if it starts raining, we're ready to go. Dead land here. Crummy ground. So that's where the bike will go. Very handy having these rock straps. All right, that should be enough to at least get it going. Right, let's get back to camp. Much easier than the old Beamer. The stash. There it is. Well, there's our wood harvest. A nice dry stack. Ready to rock and roll. Let's do it. All right, we are now officially set, ready to go. Take you through it all. So this is the area, you can see it's nice and sheltered, but this breeze is starting to kick through. Rain's not far away. Getting a nice little sunset, which is actually quite nice. So rain's just hitting the city now. There's the uh, Hildeberg, ready to rock and roll. Sitting outside as long as I can before I have to go onto the uh, refuge shelter. A nice little walkway through here. And I've got the bike tucked under, which is good, so it doesn't get in uh, any of the weather. Got plenty of space in here, which is good. Got the center pole, got all my things hanging off there, which is good. Got the water bladder, got plenty of water, got the food there, and then this is all the wood we got. So. That top stuff there, that's all the wood that we cut up last week. It's pretty damp on the outside. I've just started putting some uh, pieces on, but definitely that drier stuff that I went and collected out in the road is doing really, really well. And here's the fire pit. I'm pretty happy with it. And the wind is blowing the smoke the right direction, but that could all change when this front hits because it's supposed to be more of a northerly. So, but the wind going that way is not too bad. You can hear the wind. It's about three degrees already, so I'm starting to rug up, put more layers on. As you can see, I'm definitely gonna have to start wearing gloves. Hands are getting cold. 
But yeah, well, this is it. Ready to go. See how it holds up. Fingers crossed. All good. Gore-Tex jacket on. That's gonna that's gonna block a bit of that wind that's coming through. Sitting at 3.1 degrees. I'm really happy how I've done this pole. I'm really stoked with it. It looks good, <laughs> uh, but time will tell if it did, uh, if it does the job. Rain's rain's coming. Rain's coming. So just how much we get. This is looking good, but it could all turn pear shaped. All right, gloves are coming off because it's dinner time. All right, this fire. I'm very impressed with, very impressed with. And I wasn't sure about the wood, but then I keep thinking, and I'm like, of course it's gonna be dry because the summers up here are really, really hot. I'm really, really happy with this fire setup. I've been watching a lot of uh, Alone, particularly the North American series and season 10's on at the moment. And yeah, my fire skills has def definitely improved because I've been watching that show. Right, dinner. Japanese curry. Just got to cut everything up, chop it in this pot. So what have we got? We've got the curry, twiggy sticks, done is good. These are great. I like to fry them up like bacon. Got the spuds, carrot. That's it, and then you add the curry. These are worth gold. Do not lose them. Let's get them going. Oh yeah, they are. Look at that. It smells like I'm cooking up bacon. Look at them, nice, nice and fried up. Spoots. Yeah, you can see how wet the ground is, that's why I bring this when I'm kneeling down and cooking on the fire. Got this on uh, Amazon, I think for like 10 bucks, great, you can put it on your seat. But it's perfect for the ground when you put your knee down. Add the water now and we're going to boil this. Looks like a bar of chocolate. Look at that. Put these bits in. Look at that. There it is. Nice and easy curry. Dinner is served. It just takes me back to Japan every single time. Mm -mm. There you go. They're big flakes. <laughs> Wild old night, as you can see, it's coming down. The shelter's held up really, really well. As you can see, it starts to sag. I'm, I built a moat late last night before I went to bed and helped draw the water away. It's worked a little bit. <clears throat> now the fire. Looks like it stayed a little bit dry in there, but not too much, but that's gonna be the fun part, trying to get that going. Bit of water through here. We had a ton of rain. Bike's all good. It's all pretty much turned into snow. It's about zero degrees. You can see, look at this wind. And where we are, nice and sheltered here. So, because we're in a saddle, we don't want to be camping anywhere near that wind. Because it is, it just adds that wind chill. Oh, look at it, wild. What I'm going to go do, I'm just going to go check the track on the way out because if there's a tree down, that's going to be our biggest issue. So it's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to go walk it because this wind is really, really gusting up. And obviously, as I said before, we're in a saddle here. We're in the middle of it and we're protected by this peak to the left. And that's giving us a bit of wind protection. So let's go have a look. Looking good so far. Sweet, so the track's all good on the way out, which is nice. That's where we got the fire, the kindling yesterday. Yeah, see, the good thing is, like, it doesn't take much to go through this, so we've got to, we'll have a little bit of grip on this, but we'll still take it pretty, pretty slow. Now, let's fire the bike up, make sure it fires up. I think it will be fine.
is pretty much as high as we can go. So this track pretty much ends. These are seasonal closure gates. This gate here doesn't open ever. And that'll take you up to the summit of Mount Murray. We're not gonna go up there, it's a long walk. A little higher elevation in here, so a little bit more snow it's settling on the ground a bit more. Too bad up there. I'm glad I went. It's uh, it's disappearing quick. <laughs> all right, time to start packing up. Got the fire all sorted. That's all cleaned up. Fun part: the tent, the tent and the shelter. They're fun. All right, folks. Might sign it off there. Hope you enjoyed the trip. We are getting out of here. Pack this up. Load on the bike and we're heading straight down. Thanks for tuning in the channel. Be sure to check out the rest of the content on the channel. Make sure you hit the like button to help spread this video. And I'll see you on the next trip. Take it easy. You.